Hi guys, welcome back to another episode from The Void Guys. Mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do today, we're going to carry on from last week where we had a look at sort of time controls, setting business hours, all that kind of stuff, and how your Asterisk server will actually interact to help you, mm -hmm. you know, make sure it doesn't ring when you're not actually there type thing. Um, so, um, last time we looked at the go to if time application. Yeah. And this time we're going to look at something that will hopefully make things a little bit more simple and more mm -hmm. professional mm -hmm. uh, and will eliminate lots of coding lines. Yeah. yeah. So um, what is the problem? The mm -hmm. problem is um, I have one go-to line or we had one go-to line in the last tutorial yeah. um, and we checked only one single time right. frame. Yeah. Um, if you think about um, the reality, then mm -hmm. you never will have one line um, that defines your, yeah. all your business hours. Yeah. I mean, for you example, have. like if in the UK, it could be uh, retail, mm -hmm. uh, Monday to Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. 9 to 5, and then yeah. Sunday 10 to whatever. Or imagine about um, holidays and stuff. Yeah. You never know. Mm -hmm. I think you would end up in 10 lines of code. Okay. 15 lines of code until yeah. you defined everything you need. Mm -hmm. And that's not a problem because you have those 15 lines of code and that's not a big deal. But mm -hmm. if you have more than one user or more than one um, situation where you want to check your business mm -hmm. hours or something else, yeah. um, then you have to cope it over and over again. Uh -huh. So maybe you have 100 users then you copy those 15 lines, the same lines um, 100 times. And if somebody says, no, I want to change it, mm -hmm. these are no longer our business hours, then you have to type oh. in all the stuff again. Painful. Yes. <laughs> so there is a concept um, I want to explain. Mm -hmm. You need that concept um, if you are doing the same thing mm -hmm. very often at different places in the dial plan, then you can do it once mm -hmm. in a subroutine and then you just call that subroutine, uh -huh. do things, yeah. and jump back from where you're coming. Okay. Um, that concept, if you're a programmer, it's then, you, clear. then it's clear what the subroutine yeah. is. If not, um, you jump in there, do something, and go back. Yeah. And always, if you are copying something, then you should think about, do I really need to copy that? How often do I need it? Mm -hmm. Should I make a subroutine? Yeah. And same goes for asterisk. Okay. If you check your business hours very often on different uh, places in the dial plan, mm -hmm. create a subroutine. Okay. Or cool. if you want to check something else, but I think it's easiest to explain the concept mm. on our business hours. Business hour. Yeah. Okay. Stuff. Cool. Oh, so move take to it the away. console. <coughs> First, we go to the asterisk console as usual, and there we type in core show application then I want to introduce the applications we need those are the applications we used last time go to mm -hmm. go to time blah blah and there is go sub it's easy to use you use it like a go to mm -hmm. you say go sub jump into a context an extension the priority and um, then you do something in there mm -hmm. and then you can jump back. How can you jump back? If you go to that context and if you call there in that context return application, mm -hmm. then it just returns to, to where, you started from. where you started from. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it. There is a similar application which is also mentioned here. Um, this is macro. And if you go in there, you get a big fat warning. <laughs> Don't use it. No. No. Um, yeah, you could use it, but you should know the drawbacks. Um, this was one of the first implementations of a kind of subroutine, mm -hmm. a bad implementation of a kind of subroutine. Okay. And um, you can only go in there in seven levels. Right. So if you call the subroutine, call again a subroutine again mm -hmm. and again, mm -hmm. then Asterisk just crashes after seven levels. That's not what you want. No. Um, even if you are more guys which are administrating one Asterisk server, mm -hmm. maybe your colleague made a cool new script that yep. you're using now and it does some subroutine stuff mm -hmm. and um, you call it as subroutine, then yep. you never know yep. how much levels you will have. Okay. So please just use the go sub. Right. Application cool. instead. That's enough. 
Let's go and try it. <laughs> we tried it several times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, notes to self. Uh, yeah. If something goes wrong, check the date on your uh, system. Yeah, yeah, we had the wrong date on our system. <laughs> and we wondered why our go-to-if did not work. <laughs> our go-to-if time did not work. So, here is the problem. I copy deadline mm -hmm. 10 times because I want some more complicated business hours. Yeah. Then, I copy that whole code block mm -hmm. again and again and again for every user. Mm -hmm. And that's the bad idea. Yeah. So, now the good idea. Create a normal context. It seems to be a normal context until you use it right. as a subroutine. Mm -hmm. So I call it time check. Then I go in there. As extension, I use S for start. Mm -hmm. um, you could use something else, but you're using it from different locations. Mm -hmm. So you just jump in there, search for S1, and that's the, yeah, okay. how, the best thing, how you can do it. Then I do the time check in there. Like this. And I change it. And I jump to OK. Mm -hmm. I can not only use numbers as extensions, mm -hmm. but also names. Right, okay. And it's a very good idea to call it OK, because then I can read it. Mm -hmm. And if I read it after, um, read my dial plan after a while again, mm -hmm. I can uh, check very quickly what I did. Yeah. So it's good to use speaking extensions at this point. OK, one. So I can copy that line again. On Friday to Friday, I just want to work these hours. Mm -hmm. If none of those lines matches, I want to play back the TT monkey because I'm not in the office and then I want to hang up. So this should work. Again, this line checks, is it in this time frame? Mm -hmm. If so, it goes to OK. OK does not exist yet. Then it goes to the next line, if not. If this is true, it jumps to OK. If not, it goes to the next line. And so on, and so on, and so on. And I could do many checks. Mm -hmm. Then I need to define the OK extension. If OK, I just return. That's all I want to do. Mm -hmm. If I'm in those time frames, I want to jump back to where I came from. So that's our, uh, for now it's just a context, but mm -hmm. that's our subroutine we want to use. So I do an example. Like this. Now as I say go sub. Time check. S1, I want to jump in there. Mm -hmm. Then I do all the checks. If it comes to that hang-up line, then the style plan just stops and it will never return. Right. Mm -hmm. But if not, it returns and then it will end up in the next line. And then we will go to our context phones, 200, 1. So I reduce that to two lines. Mm -hmm. Those two lines I can copy over and over again. Yep. Or I could just use variables and um, regular expressions as we explained. Yep. But you should know, you should understand the concept. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a good example to just understand the concept. Yep. Um, and you can yeah, understand the concept of a subroutine. Mm -hmm. So it jumps in there, it checks that. If not, it hangs up and 
If I'm in the business hours, it should return and call my phone. Now we can try it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> First, we have to reload the dial plan. Uh -huh. I did go in there with not enough verbosity. <laughs> Now, let's see. Nine, nine, one, one, two, three, one, one two, two, three. Four. Yeah. So, my phone just rings. I can answer the call and I can hang up. Let's have a look what happened now. This is the first line with the goes up. Jump to the time check. The time check goes to the first line. It says, Oh, this is my line. It's now. Um, we're in that business hours, mm -hmm. so it jumps to time check OK. It returns, so it goes back to where it came from, mm -hmm. and now it jumps into the context phones 200 calls my phone, and so on and yep. so on. So now we can, no, not another call, this was <laughs> a mistake. Now we can change our business hours that we are out of the business hours now. Maybe every day we just work that way. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Yeah. What happens now? It just jumps in there. Mm -hmm. This does not match. This does not match. So he does just our TT Monkeys playback. Yep. And it, when it's over, he just hangs up. We can just wait. Yeah, it takes a few seconds or yeah. so. There we go. And then it just hangs up. Okay. So now we're out of the business hours. Cool. And that's how you can use the concept of subroutines. It's very useful. Yeah, it's, it looks much simpler than uh, how we had it the first time around. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, cool. And cleaner. And you can see quite clearly, so like yeah. for example, when you had the different business hours and somebody mm -hmm. wants to change it, how much hassle that would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So good. There you have it. That's how you make your uh, time controls much more professional and clean. Until next time, goodbye. Bye.